Hello Magic Bow Tubers and welcome back to Let's Play Might Magic 6 The Mandate of Heaven with your host Blue Ankylo as the unseen controller in the mist. And with us today we have War Raider the Knight, the Commander, the Paladin, he's got double titles, and Pyro the Cleric, and Dozocles the Sorcerer. So we've got our four dudes. We don't have very good equipment just yet. We don't even have the skills to wear most of the stuff I want, but uh, we're coming along. You can see everybody's equipment. And we've got this magic bow. That's what we got in the last episode. We spent a lot of time just uh, journeying around the area of New Sorpigal, just uh, killing some monsters and getting some loot, and we did get some good stuff. Unfortunately, we couldn't identify it all, so I'm waiting on a level up so that uh, um, our cleric will be able to uh, identify items better. So that's the plan. I'm still short a thousand bucks, so we're going to go kill and stuff and try to make a little bit more money. So the one area we haven't really dealt with yet outside, other than the dungeons, is uh, this sort of area on this side of the map that's full of uh, deadly mages and stuff. And there are a lot of them, so of all the areas around New Sorpergold, this is the one to be careful of the most, I would say, uh, because they've got so many ranged attacks. They don't do a ton of damage, but um, there's a lot of them. So anyway. Let's pause, maybe, and get to work. Alright, I am on double speed again, which is amazing, by the way. And, uh, oh, how am I going to get up there? Sometimes enemies can climb up just sort of better than you can. So, uh, you can actually lose bodies and stuff if you don't have uh, a way up. We'll, we'll, we'll cover that later on. Um, sometimes you can kind of jump your way up on these little ledges, but uh, not necessarily easy to do. Not quite letting us get up that way. Oh, here we go. A little bit looser. There we go. So this is all the stuff we killed earlier on, and I forgot to pick up their money. Give me your monies. Oh, you know, one thing I should do before I get st stuck in a big battle, I want to show you the boat interface, just to just to show you. The Odyssey. The so yeah, there you go. We could we could uh, sail to Mist for 80 bucks from here. Forgot about that. So that's, you know, handy. There might be some stuff along here. Let's just take a short detour. Much shorter thanks to the abilities. No, I was just wondering if there was anything along this little path. I didn't really go along. Um, thanks to the ability of double speed, uh, we're going to save a ton of time in this game. It's going to be amazing. Oh, and a staff. Did you see? Did you read that, guys? So thanks to um, killing these mages, we will get some uh, stuff like this. Also, we're running out of areas to put stuff. Ooh, staffs. Staff is probably the worst skill for weapons in the game. Uh, daggers are better. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, Staff's probably the worst one of all the skills. Alright, as you can see, there are a lot of wizards over there. They're not particularly tough, but there's a lot of them. So that covers the first round. But yeah, look at that in the distance. Just tons. And they've got they've all got ranged attacks, so uh B just like I said in the last episode. You definitely want to only aggro like one or two groups at a time and then sort of let them come to you. Maybe back up a little bit here. I hear I hear some fireballs coming. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Where am I too far away? I am just out of range. Okay, there we go. The green guys... Oh, I didn't really explain that. Journeyman mages, slightly tougher than apprentice mages, as you may have gathered. Okay. Let's, let's get to it. They are definitely dying easily, but we just don't want to take too much damage ourselves. Uh, this might hurt a little bit. This is one of those times where firing all your archers at once is probably a bad idea. Because it seems like they're dying in one hit. <laughs> wow, there's so many of them. I wish I had some awesome spells for Dozocles. There's spells that would, would basically take out all these guys in a couple shots. If I could just... Uh, well, if I had them. Ha, got him. Eh. That's the spirit. Ouch. Well, I took a little bit of damage. I think that guy's like hiding behind a rock. Well, not good enough. Your rock will not save you today, journeyman mage. Killing them all. So imagine if you didn't have archery. How would you kill these guys? They're generally not going to engage you in melee. They're going to uh, stay far away like this and shoot at you. You'd have to run in there and basically aggro the entire group. Now, individually these things don't do a lot of damage, but if you're trying to fight like a hundred of them at once, and I mean, there was a lot here. 
Even this might be too much if I'm uh, not careful here. I think we're okay though. They do die so quickly, and they're not really fast. Like, they don't get a lot of turns or anything. So anyway, there you go. We cleared out another group. Should have cast that earlier. But that'll give you an idea of just how many we had to kill. I mean, and some went over that hill to fight us in episode one as well, so. If you just ran in here and fought everything at the same time, that could be painful. But I'm definitely excited about all the money. And you can see all these treasure boxes laying around. Oh yeah, we get, we're gonna get some good loots. Mad loots early on in the game. Although, uh, it's going to be hard to top that magic bow we got last episode. That was a pretty good luck. Alright, how about these rocks? Anything exciting? I can never remember just which rock does what. It probably shows up on the screen with the uh, perception. Or not perception, with the wizard's eye. What we do need perception for is opening stuff like this. So first off, let's just take a second here. Make sure no one's like about to die or anything. It's generally a good idea if you're going to open treasure chests. Got it. Ah, that's a cool looking shield. Large shield. Nice. Oh, I forgot to mention, in between episodes, I did go through and sell some of our junk that I was holding on to. Um, just I because uh, I need the money. <laughs> and I, I want to put shields on everyone and stuff, but uh, I sold everything that was... Um, uh -huh. Anything that was identified I already, I just sold, just to save some time. I don't know. I mean, probably none of these are going to do anything, but... Uh, we might as well identify them anyway. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There you go. So, um, you know, in just on the off chance that we picked up something magical, it's nice to identify. Got it. Got it again. We still have not set off a trap, so we're doing pretty know. good. Uh -huh. Another little shield. Give it to somebody. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So she can, she can certainly identify all the basic stuff anyway. I'll probably at some point go through and give all my potion brewing stuff to my sorcerer, Dozocles, just because it seems fitting that he would do the actual alchemy. Of course, he may blow some stuff up as time goes on, but we'll get into that later. Okay, that was two treasure boxes. There's more over here. Got it. More money. Nice. And we've got eight grand now. That was my target. And another treasure box. Got it. Nice. Not a whole lot of magical know. items, mm. probably, but... Uh, take it. And did we get a level up or anything? That would have been the best. Oops. Nah, we're 1000 XP off. Those first two levels came really quickly, but uh, now it's going to start slowing down. Oh, that's another, I guess that island over there is another one full of mages and stuff. But this one's a little bit more dangerous. Proper mages, not just apprentices. And more goblin kings and stuff. I don't think I can get over there without flying or just taking a lot of uh, water damage. Or water walking, you know. You know what I mean. Alright, some chicky here. I think it's usually smart to send the person with the highest personality front to talk. Pleased to meet you. More likely they'll actually talk to you. You can ask about Prince Nikolai. Uh, he's not even in charge. Well, yeah, we know that. I was more, more asking, like, if you knew where he ran off to. <laughs> anyway, this is the house. Is it the house? How house are you? Falagar, yeah. The gate master. This is our old buddy that uh, saved us in Sweetwater. And uh, trained us a little bit. Ask him for advice. Um, you know, he's taught us as much as he can. Basically tells you to talk to the Oracle and fight off the devils. That's the basic background of what we're supposed to be doing. The trick is, to talk to the Oracle, we need um, support from the Council. And the Council won't let us do it right now, is, is the idea. The six Council members. And, uh, yeah, we want maps. Maps are good. Anyway, that was Faragar. Figured that was worth a quick look. And now, we're going to sell some stuff off, probably do a quick trip back to Castle Iron Fist. Oh, oh landed in the water there. Oops. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to start going through some of these dungeons. I've got just enough money if I spend every penny we've got to learn expert archery. Also, what does this well do? It's just refreshing. Shoot. Drink, drink, drink. Everybody drink some magic water. And there you go. Everyone's healed up. <laughs> so, um... Do we need any more? Got to sell all that stuff. I don't know. Still can't quite identify all that. Shoot. Looking for a weapon? Oh well. Sell all this. See how much money we get. Uh, if I haven't mentioned, I believe um, New Sorpigal. These three: the armor, weapon, and uh, sort of Can I well alchemy. But it's the random stuff over here. These are probably the best places to sell a lot of your stuff. 
because it's generally going to be the cheaper here, the cheapest here. I think their merchants are the worst. Like, their merchant skill is the worst here in those three than anywhere else in the game, if I remember correctly. Um, anything else I needed to do quick? I got another shield I could sell. I am going to learn that shield skill eventually. I don't know. But those are better anyway, so no need to worry. Don't touch the merchandise. Green obviously means it's unidentified in case you're missing that little information, that little tidbit. Come back soon. All right, let's head on off to learn mass expert archery another day. Also, be careful if you press the button I just hit, the shoot button. Um, you can kill people by accident, and that will affect your... Uh, what's, where's the button? No, no. X, B, N. Where is it? Oh, my guys are uh, actually weak as well. Hey, there's the map. That's cool. Um, so there is some stuff up there that we haven't gone to. Forgot about that button. Um, can't, can't, can't quite find my shortcut. Anyway, um, what was I saying? You, you can lower your reputation by killing people by accident. So I'll be a little bit careful. Also, for interest's sake, we are now weak because we haven't had food in a while. Uh, or we haven't slept properly. I keep waiting around not properly resting. So they, probably because they're hungry. Um, probably you though, ride? as soon as we horses. ride, we'll be fine again. And there you go, everyone's back up. So while you were riding, you got to rest, so that was the deal there. Also, when the area respawns, however long it takes, like a month or two, the horseshoes and stuff show back up, so you can continue to get more skill points forever, really. And I think those barrels with the random liquids, they will respawn and we'll get all that, so there is some good stuff like that nice if you're patient. You. Anyway, you remember this one, right? Helen Teal, expert bowmanship. Two grand, it's not cheap. Okay. But, uh... Okay. Everyone's gonna get it. Okay. Yes. And I might not put a whole lot more points into archery for a while, but that should cover us. You can now see the handy little expert notification. They should all shoot a fair bit quicker. Um, I don't know if it actually... If it's keeping track... Do you remember what the shoot bonus was before? The recovery time bonus? I don't know if that's better than it used to be, but... Uh, well, you can also see... Um, Dosicles, he's at 103 instead of... 105, which I assume is just because he's got that speedy ring on. You know, that thing. So that's kind of how it works out. I haven't really ever worried about the exact numbers myself, so, you know, no big deal. Also, if I've got enough money, I'm just going to double check here. Closed. Sure. Of course it's closed. Let's try Ready this. Ready to learn something new. Um, chain. That's pretty expensive. Plate. We don't even have any plate armor right now. Um, plate armor. There is a shop that should sell it around here, but not enough money. Um, you know what? Let's teach her chain just so she useful. can equip it. That way our uh, our mages will have better armor as best they can anyway. I've sold all my old chain, but as soon as we find some more, I'll give her an upgrade. You saw that the basic chain mail had, I think, 8 AC instead of 4. So, you know, that's the idea. Um, I'm just going to take a short detour here to show you some of uh, Castle Iron Fist. I don't really want to waste much time here, but I'll show you the basic rundown. How are you? Expert axe fighting, we'll need to remember that for later. Hey, this is where you can train, train up. Do, 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 do. Fine Find blades. We'll hand. have better quality weapons and basically just swords by the looks of things. They're not actually that good, so maybe we just got bad luck, but Hello. expert swordsmanship is here. Um, do, do, do. I don't think there's anything up on the walls. Nothing I really want to worry about right now. What's this here? X iron defense. In the so here's where you can start getting a little bit better armor and shields and stuff, if we had money. Um, an antique is the worst thing you ever want to buy. Antique is great for selling stuff, very bad for buying it, because it just makes it more expensive. doesn't make it any better. Um... This is some of the better leather armor, and if I had the money, I'd buy it for Dazocles, because it's maybe not the best, but it's one of the better ones for sure. Um, but again, I don't have nearly enough money. Enchanted leather. Actually, for my sorcerer, wow, that would be really good, but I don't have any money, so sorry, guys. One day we'll be back to get the good stuff. These three, as you can kind of see by the sign, are all of our mage guilds. Of course, I'm not a member to them yet. I have uh, this one. Meditation will be really good. That's the skill that uh, increases your spell points. So I'll want to teach that to my mages. Actually, probably everyone except our knight. Um, and they have spells. So this will be where you get average level mind spells. I'll show them all to you when I have money. But average level of the three uh, clerical spells, basically. In this odd looking shape building, it's really quite awkward, I always thought. 
uh, is our sort of alchemist. Like. So we can get some more amulets and stuff. Sometimes they've got cool magic effects, rings, and you know, the, the, the random stuff. The odd book for cold beam and stuff. Just, you know, random stuff more than anything. A fancy hat. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Who wants to wear the fancy hat? <laughs> um, could talk to some people maybe, but... Hey, chick, what's going on? Talk to Hello. us. Uh, apparently she still thinks we've committed crimes. I don't think we have, but such is life. And here is no the temple service. for uh, Iron Fist area. Live no big deal. I think each of the different temples might give you different blessings if you donate a lot of money. Um, it's nothing I'm really worrying about. Further our, furthering our travels. Hello. Expert bodybuilding. That's the one that gives you more HP. And the good thing about bodybuilding is it's retroactive, so you can learn it later on and it doesn't matter. You don't need to learn it right at the beginning. Greetings. Spirit Guild. There you go. We did need that. You can read all that stuff if you want. Thank you. But now we can actually get in there. And this guy is also the master trainer for spirit magic, if we ever go that route. Uh, another big room here. Hello. Body guild, there we go. Thank you. Usually the memberships are fairly close to the shops you want to get into. Um, I think there's actually... Sorry for the slightly um, tearing of the sprites. This didn't happen back when I was playing it on like Windows 3.1. It's just part of the emulation to uh, play on Windows 7, I think. The original game looked a little bit better like that. How are you? So, who are these guys? Expert learning. That's very, very handy. That's a good one. And some kid can ask him about Wilbur Humphrey. Mm, he thinks he's too naive and unfit to rule. Yeah, I think Humphrey's okay. Up here is the library. There's no one in it right now. Maybe later. Hello. Expert diplomacy is basically pointless, as I sort of mentioned. Diplomacy is not a very good skill. So uh, let's head out of here. Just figured I'd do a little bit of quick exploring around the uh, the old castle Iron Fist, seeing as it's been an episode. Yeah, speed and stuff. I already showed you guys that. Very handy. Okay, let's head on back down. I guess I'll show you the rest of the buildings. Why not? So there's a door at the back of the Pleased inn to meet you. where we can learn knife fighting or daggers, you know, which is good for our mage. Um, what's this kid up to? Close your mouth, you d dirty child. Naughty child. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the tavern. Hello, King's on. Crown, standard. It costs different amount of monies at different taverns, obviously. Here is a good one because you can get up to 20 days of food or 20 apples. But it costs a little bit more. So that would actually give us more, but I just don't feel like wasting the money just yet. Please Show you guys these. You. Um, ask about magic resistance. Yeah. Later on, you'll find a lot more magic immune type monsters later on in the game. So we had our archery shop, which, uh, I mean, if I had the money, I might buy another one of these. 486, though. It's pretty expensive. Um, just can't afford any more of them right now. Too bad. Don't touch oh, I never showed you this guy. These are our chain mail type armory, so we do get better chain. Um, just not enough money for anything just yet. Yeah, medium tier armor. The one, uh, the Capel Castle Iron Fist one up there, the best one, that's one of the better armor stores around. Um, but uh, there's a few other ones just hiding out. Also, let's take a quick run over to these houses just to quickly show you. If I remember correctly, this is all the experts Hello. for the elemental. Or not, it's experts for armor. Expert chain. Greetings. Expert plate. How are you? Expert leather, so that's all very handy. Pleased to meet you. Expert shield, so yeah, all the armor can be taught to expert here. There's a lot of enemies over there. I don't want to fight them right now. They're actually not that tough, but I just don't want to do horses. it. We've already wasted 19 minutes of the episode. I want to get to some uh, some killing of proper stuff. So we have a choice here. We can either go to Goblin Watch or to the temple. I believe Goblin Watch is a slight, slight amount easier. So let's go this way first. Um, I think the abandoned temple is much larger, so it will take longer time to get through it. Also, I haven't been saving as much as I should be, so let's uh, add a save in here. There you go. Alright, let's uh, turn it down to normal speed for now. And the weathered stones of this old keep shelter empty buildings in an unused courtyard. Faint sounds echo from a worn stairway that leads down below the keep. You know what, actually? Let's just double check. You know how I mentioned that I think it's a separate entrance at the back here? This actually might not be an entrance at all. This might just be someone who talks to you. Hello. 
Yeah, surprise. I forgot about that. So there's a goblin that lives up here. Urok. And he doesn't like us very much. <laughs> ah, that's good. Maybe I should read Greetings. that for you guys. You know, goblin, you leave. We take castle to watch over humans. You no more kill us. So, yeah. Now we gotta go kill all of his friends. <laughs> ah, I just... I forgot about that earlier on last episode. <laughs> Alright, let's go kill some goblins. All right, welcome to our first dungeon. I don't know about this. Where are we? Don't you worry, guys. We'll be fine. Let's just be a little bit cautious. We'll probably meet some new monsters and stuff. Let's save inside on a new slot. Let's go. Uh, let's actually title this Goblin Keep, and that way I'll have that there. So, one thing to keep in mind is there are lots of little secrets we can find. Um, not necessarily in this room, but uh, there's. It's like a lot of dungeon crawling RPGs. There's going to be lots of secret passages and stuff. Let's see what's behind door number one. Dun, dun, dun. I don't remember these mazes at all, so uh, I'm going to be really careful in here because I really don't remember. I can certainly hear stuff. Ha ha ha, take that. Stupid goblins. Anybody else? Oh, there's definitely more people in here. Oh! Ah! What the heck? Alright, let's uh, pause. So! <laughs> oh, that looks lovely. Bloodsuckers. Well, you know what? I should have I should have cast Wizard's Eyes so I can see this guy. Unfortunately, we're not very good in melee. Well, not bad. Bloodsucker. A brain sucker. I believe the brain suckers are stronger than bloodsuckers. Anyway, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh, they sort of surprised me a little bit, though. What I should have done is cast Wizard's Eyes. That way I'm going to know if they're around a corner or something. Stop that. There we go. So I can definitely see them running around back there a little bit better. Behind the walls. Alright. Let's pause it and try to kill that guy. Yeah. So sometimes... Sometimes you can hit stuff through walls. Yeah. Okay. Whew. No big deal. There's another guy. Which direction? Somewhere behind that wall. So there's obviously a secret that's going to open something up there, I believe. I can certainly hear a lot of stuff. Ah! And our first random loot on the ground. These kind of things is why you have perception. Is to just pick up random stuff. Um, there's a button there. Do we press the button? This doesn't look dangerous at all. Uh, you know what? Just just because I feel like being uh, careful, let's make a danger save. There you go. And let's see what happens. Ha 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 ha! Let's just pause. <laughs> well, that's not too bad. What is this? A common rat. Okay, that could be worse. There you go. Nothing to worry about, guys. I can kill a rat. Another door. There's definitely lots of secrets to look for. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, pause. You guys gonna follow me around or are you stuck? I think they might be stuck. Alright, we're doing okay. Come on you guys, everybody. Let's do a little bit of static charge. Bam! We've gotta get some better spells for you, Dawes, please. There you go, good job. I want to be a little bit smart with our MP. I don't want to waste it all. SP, sorry. This game is SP. Don't you hit us through the wall. Alright, our first treasure chest. Let's have uh, the commander give it a shot. Good luck. Got it. Not trapped. Or at least not trapped good enough. I don't know. Cold beam, yay. I, I think I remember just selling scrolls unless it was a special spell. Usually it was just sort of normal. Alright. Now this door is open. Did I open this? Ah, what the heck? Clipping through wall monsters. Oh, they're just rats. We'll be fine. Maybe I should pause it. Rodents of unusual size. <laughs> okay, maybe we do a little bit of healing here. 
I gotta get my uh, paladin there with the body magic spell, the body magic skill, and then he'll be able to help us out a little bit on healing. No treasure over here? Come on. Is this just an empty room? That doesn't seem fair. I'm sort of randomly kicking on the walls, if you're wondering. As all good dungeon crawlers know, just randomly click everything. Let's do nothing. Appears to be a dead end after all that. Alright, well, I've got a little bit more exploring in me. Let's continue on. It appears we've ended that direction, so let's head on over here. Maybe we'll do a little bit of healing first. Maybe a save, even. You can rest in dungeons if you clear out enough of the monsters and you can get it to green. Um, so if you bring enough food, you can always uh, rest up for a little while. But I think we're pretty safe at this point. All right. Move back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, say hello with our little lightning bolt. Well, it's not a real lightning bolt. We'll see lightning bolts later. All right, this is how we do it. Got a nice... Uh... Now, as you might be able to tell... Well, I, I mentioned it a little bit before. Um, sometimes shooting around corners, like... If I was right here, Dozocles might be able to shoot the enemies easier than... Uh, than War Raider, and then the opposite would be true over here, if that makes sense. Let's uh, just put that up for defensive purposes. Make sure I can see stuff hidden around corners a little better. So I believe this room is what we were being told about with the puzzle. And I know the solution because I remember playing with it as a kid. Every time you click a button, some of the doors, there's going to be a whole lot of doors in front of us. And some will open and some will close. Um, and you can even see on the map there's some monsters behind them. I'm pretty sure the solution that makes the most sense is actually the word goblin backwards. So there's all these letters from A to P. So how do you spell goblin backwards? N is the last one. Bam. That opened one of the one of the walls. Goblin. So I would be next. Do do do. I. Bam. Open another one. Goblin. So L comes after. Continue our little puzzle. There might be a scroll somewhere that explains this better. For now, I, I think this is fine. And then B. Blin. And O. Oblin. And finally, G for goblin. There's actually quite a few ways to open it up. You can just randomly press buttons and you'd get it eventually. Ah! Ah! Comic rats. I even knew they were back there. What the heck am I doing? Okay, hold on, hold on. Got that one. You know what? It's time for static charge. Bam! Take that rat. And uh, let's keep everybody in the green. Alright. Sorry for the jump there. <laughs> uh, that's going to happen a bit, getting startled. Um, yeah, we can go this way. This looks a little bit more dangerous. Hmm. You know what I should do? I should keep saving. One of these days, something horrible is going to happen. Like having killer bloodsuckers pop out of nowhere. Let's uh, start shooting away. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, I might have wanted to go the other way first. Okay, hold on. Let's do some old uh, backstepping. We won't get hit as often if you're walking backwards with melee enemies. So, we can do some kiting. That's the word. Fortunately, the rats don't have any money. Most of the non humanoid monsters don't really carry anything. Oh yeah, yeah, more rats. More rats. Come on, kite. That's a large rat there. Luckily, thanks to our amazing archery skills, um, we can get through this a little easier than normal. Um, as I said, I've said this many times and I'm sure I'll continue to say it. Early game, archery trumps everything. So, we're doing pretty good. Nothing behind us, right? Yeah. There was that other door um, right at the beginning that I didn't go through. Maybe I should have, because it looks like this is going to open up into a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe. It's a pretty big room. Well, let's see. We got fancy obelisk. Got a fire. Ah, a pit. Let's not jump down that pit right now. Anything else just laying around? The better your perception score is, the more often you'll find those just random little loot piles. And there's probably a lot more that could show up in here. We just we're, we cannot perceive it. So unless I want to jump down that pit, this is a dead end. 
Uh, I probably will jump down it later, but for now, let's finish exploring this floor. I'll probably do something dangerous in the next episode, because uh, we're already at 30 minutes. So where was it? Um, this way? Yeah, I didn't go this direction yet. Let's uh, do a little bit of healing again. Maybe we could rest even. I don't know. We can't rest here. No, not. We can't rest here. Not far enough away from stuff. We can't if, rest here. If you, one of the tricks I remember learning is if you just sort of tap R. We can't rest here. Eventually, rest you'll here. find a spot where you rest can rest. Here. We can't rest here. Just want to show it off. There you go. So it's still yellow, but we managed to get far enough away that we could rest. Um, just means the borderline between resting and fighting is not exactly yellow. You've got a little bit of uh, room to play with. Zoom. Oops, wrong way. It's going too fast. All right, let's try this again. So everyone's all healed up, and we've wasted a little bit of food. That's why you want to bring lots of food to these dungeons. Ah, another rat, I see. Do, 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 around the corner, all careful and sneaky like that. The door. Looks like we're heading underground no matter where we go. Oh yeah, I remember this room. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if there's some monsters in here. Yeah. I should have paused right away. Oh, we're surrounded. Um, you know what? Let's not go that way just yet. Let's wait for them to follow us. There you go. A little bit of tactical withdrawal is a good idea, I think. Um, the enemies are pretty brutal in this game. They can definitely take you out if you're not careful. Especially when we're only level 3. So let's sneakily, sneakily move around. Ow! Alright, that one got us. Okay, maybe I pause it here. And do it like this. Bam! Yeah. Unfortunately, we're in melee range. So, you cannot use your bow when you're this close. And uh, our guys aren't very good with uh, melee just yet. Alright, there you go. Okay. Of course. See if I can get him with a spell. There you go. One damage. Come on. There we go. Um, five damage. Um, goblin kings are certainly stronger than normal goblins. So I'm going to go kind of all out on this guy. Come on. Twelve damage. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot, commander. Go. Maybe a little bit of healing on old Dozocles. There we go. Good shot, War Raider. You got him. Figures the knight would kill him off. Alright, so the main reason I went to this room, I did sort of remember about it. You see all these odd looking things on the wall. Yeah. Let's just click stuff. Oh, look. Well, nothing. Still nothing. I need better perception. Where's all the loot? There's one. Got it. Well, that's pretty lame. Ah. I was expecting something slightly better. Still nothing. Another treasure chest. Got it. There we go. A little bit better this time. Got some money. Here you go. The Goblin Watch code. So yeah, you were supposed to go here first, really. I don't know. Aha. Rings and stuff. We certainly need to get a level up. I wonder if I've got enough. Let me double check. Do we have enough? No. We're still a few hundred points short. Almost ready for level up. I think I remember there being more stuff on these pedestals a lot of the time, but uh, I guess we just can't see it if there is any hidden in there. That's that's very disappointing. Not a whole lot of good stuff here at all. All right, well, I think that's the most we're going to get from this area of the dungeon. I don't think I've missed anything important. It's possible. You know, there could be like a torch you click and suddenly this wall opens up, but I don't remember. And I opened up all the little, uh, what, do you, what do you call them, sconces or something? I don't know sort of panels that have stuff in them. Anyway, I think that's it for this episode, actually. Sorry, guys. Um, it is possible there's stuff I don't know about. Seems like these things should do something. But uh, I don't remember. Oh, I can read you the, uh, the scroll here. Mm. So there you go. That's how to open it. A would blow up, and if you wanted to work out the combo, you could figure it out. Um, the, the secret to the, the reason I know how to open it is... The draw cab monks. What does that mean? Three, two, one. The backward monks. And backward from goblin is knoblig or whatever. So that was the, the solution to the puzzle. Sorry if I spoiled it for you. <laughs> um, 
yeah, whatever, let's just get out of here. I'm actually not going to go back to town just yet. Unless, if I'd had enough levels up, I would go, if I had enough experience to level up, I would go back. But, uh, we're going to take the plunge, I think. Um, I, I'll, I'll definitely save it before I go, but, uh, we're going to take a plunge. And we're going to see what happens. But I'm going to save you for that exciting adventure for the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Maybe we, we can, can rest, rest up or here. something. Uh, at the very least, I'll heal up with uh, our cleric. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And have a great day.